Tale Noi is a unique spot in the Pathalum province of southern Thailand. This vast wetland is a paradise of biodiversity. Countless bird species, some native to only this lake. Over 4,000 wild buffalo roaming the area and a way of life that's been preserved through generations. Today, we're meeting up with Jamras, a local fisherman who's going to show us their traditional wetland fishing technique. Sorry, Cap. Sit down. This is the water that we come to or the water from the lake. Jamras has been fishing this lake since he was a kid. His family has been fishing it for generations. In this area, there are 197 families that rely solely on this lake for their livelihood. From fishing every day, to harvesting the krachut, to make mats and baskets for sale. The average depth of this lake is only 1.2 meters, which makes the unique design of a longtail boat necessary to skim right over the surface. Oh, here we go, fishing style right here. <laughs> that guy in the water pulling up his net. That's sort of the style of fishing right here, because this is all real shallow. So now he's searching the area to find a spot that hasn't recently been fished. So he said that he'd been doing this and he was kids, like his dad take him around to do fishing stuff. Like many people in the West, I spend my childhood thinking about what I want to be when I grow up. Sometimes you forget that many people around the world are just born into a life, a much simpler life. Like Jam Ras, born in the fishing village of Tale Noi. You just get out there and fish, try to provide for yourself and your family. <laughs> ก่อนนี้แล้วค่ะซื้อถอดตามสายเลือดเนาะนี่อยู่ข้างคุณอยู่ข้างคุณทรีคิสตอนนี้ก็เรียกจ็อบนั่นเองอ่ะครับจ็
which are crucial to biodiversity and the local ecosystem. <laughs> well, at least it is tighter. Yeah, I didn't know I was getting in here. <laughs> so not quite prepared for this scene here. <laughs> well, did you watch, jump in? Yeah, watch out when you get up. Hey, hey, careful. Wait, you go both like see. You can Oh, it's, you know, it's mushy down on the bottom here. As long as I'm not bit by anything, it's all right. So they're saying that, that these right here are not native to Thailand and they're kind of like a weed. So they don't mind like killing these off, getting rid of these. Here we go, lotus flower right here. So these lotus flowers, they grow all over this lake. And the people in this area, they harvest them, they eat them, they make things out of them. You know, Thailand is famous for the lotus flower. They use that in all sorts of different designs and cultural things. The lotus flower, emerging from the dark, muddy waters towards the light, blossoming into a beautiful flower. In Thai culture and Buddhism, this represents the journey towards enlightenment. And this lake, at certain times of the year, is full of lotus flowers. เราขายออกให้หมดแล้วเราจะได้ปลาปลาเตยน้อยปลาน้ําจืดทุกคนจะได้ดูวิธีการทําการจับปลาแบบสมัยโบราณเดี๋ยวนี้ปรากฏหม
is lose like lose out and then like killing someone. Where'd the bear come from? Come at Dangna. Now I mean me, me, let me find me. Kang, let me see if I know. The little yap of Tang of Tang. Tang, see, call it 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 call so it's like really jungle, like had a lot of animal, like wild animal, elephant. tiger, elephant. And that's yeah, nearby. Bear. Yeah. And bears. Yeah, so you're saying that there's a lot of bird species that are only found in this lake. And there's also a wild cat that moves around this area just catching fish. All right, so we've been out here about three hours. It's a lot of work pulling in this net. But we're getting close here. Lucky day, we didn't get too many. We got a couple big ones, but maybe uh, 50, 60 baht worth of fish. So, <laughs> so yeah, you know, you just kind of guess the area. You put your net out and hope for the best. You know, that's all you can do. ได้กดลูกเจ้าก็เก่งนี่เลยกลมกันลบมันนี่ตะโรนได้เลยเป็นปั้นก้นนะครับเลยยุบปลามันเรื่องปลาราคาถูกต้องปลามันหน่อยก
guy. So we didn't get enough fish today to sell it to the market, but normally he goes right here, there's a market, they just buy it straight from him. He does that every day. So we're gonna say goodbye. Thanks for taking us out. It's an epic area right here. Tale Noi in Southern Thailand, Patalu, right here. Okay, Kopen Kap. Yeah, thank you. Kopen Kap. We are just getting started with day in the life videos. So if you like this content, please like, subscribe, and share it with anyone else who may enjoy it.